Victoria, I'm really, really, really drunk right now, but there's people having sex in the back of your truck. Now, before I tell the story, it's really important that you understand the details of a few things. One, the truck. Bright yellow, banana yellow, like school bus yellow. It's my Ford Ranger with an open bed. The second thing you have to understand is the location. A lot of you know a place, a restaurant and bar called HK on the Bay. You may know this place because the owner is a huge supporter of four kids. The staff is amazing. The drinks are awesome, the food is delicious, and they have live music every weekend. In fact, we just played there last night. Now, when you go to this bar, if you've never been, there's a deck that wraps around two sides of the restaurant, and you have to walk through this path, and there are two cars on either side of the path. Those cars nose right up to the deck. My truck was the very first car. Everybody had to walk past my yellow truck in order to get in and out of the bar. Victoria, I'm really, really drunk right now, but there's people having sex in the back of your truck. I go out to my truck, and when I go out, I look over the side. Sure enough, there's two people in the back of my truck. I tap the side of the vehicle, and I say, excuse me, would you mind getting out of the back of my truck? The girl turns her head and says, no, and you. <laughs> this is my censor because there's a lot of F-bombs in this story. I say to her, well, I would really appreciate it if you would get out of the back of my truck. She says, this isn't your, tr your truck. Show me your license and registration. <laughs> Seriously. So I turn around, I walk about 10 steps into the deck, and who's standing there? My fiance at the time, now my husband, and my friend Rihanna. Now another thing you have to understand is Rihanna. She's one of the best vocalists in Hampton Roads. She's really voluptuous, sexy. Her curves are amazing, red lips. She's loud and exciting. She's standing next to Joe. So Joe turns and looks at Rihanna after I go over and say, Call the cops, there's people having sex in my truck. I hand my, I, I look at Joe and I said, I, when I told him that, and he sit, looks at Rihanna and says, here, hold my beer. <laughs> at this point I walk inside the bar because my band is playing, we're on break at this, uh, you know, at this certain night. Joe walks over to the back of the truck and he looks at the girl and says, get out of the truck. Now, the guy is completely laying there lifeless <laughs> at this point. <laughs> She looks at him and says, this isn't your truck. Show me your license and registration. He says, it's my fiance's truck. Therefore, it's my truck, so get out. She sits up. Joe's at the end of the truck. Rihanna is here. She sits up and says, that's not your fiance. That's the bitch that you when he says this, Rihanna looks at Joe, who she's known for 10 years, and his chest puffs up, and he gets completely red, and he, she's thinking, oh my God, this is about to get real. All of a sudden, the girl is sitting up. When I walk out, the girl is sitting up in the truck, and she is cussing Joe up and down. <laughs> And Joe is just sitting there holding back, and she's going, touch me, I dare you, touch me, pull me out of the truck. So I stand in front of Rihanna and look over the edge of the truck, and I see it, her purse. It's brown, light brown suede with this really long fringe at the end. So I reach in the back of the truck, I pick up her purse, and honestly, I don't know where this came from in my head, but I thought when I grabbed her purse, she would just say to me, oh, thank you so much for getting my purse for me. I'll get out of the truck now. So I hold the purse and I go, I have your purse. Get out of my truck. And then everything turned to complete slow motion. This girl flipped out. She jumped out of the back of my truck like a spider monkey on revenge. She ran around the crowd, and all I'm thinking is, 
oh my God, this is my moment. I've never been in a fight before. Like, this is, this is it. I'm about to get in a fight. And Joe told me, don't punch with the money makers. You play the piano, like flying burrito to the face, kicker, and it's all going super slow. And she comes over and she slaps the purse out of my hands and then she shoves me. Now, you have to understand, this girl was completely wasted. I was not. She hits me on the shoulders, and she's a little shorter than me, very petite, beachy, kind of a beachy girl. And she hits me on the shoulders, I go back, and her arm pulls back, and it was it. She was gonna punch me, and we were gonna get into it. And then I feel it. Over my left shoulder, an arm came out. And in the most devilish, horrific voice, I hear, don't F with my friends. And it was Rihanna. She picked the girl up by her neck, picked her up off of her feet. I turned around, ran inside the bar as fast as I could. I was of zero help. She picks this girl up. She goes to shove her against the car next to her. The crowd, like there's a crowd around. They're pulling her off. I run inside the bar and who's inside? Tick, and my other friend, D. They're both derby girls, and they're jammers, so they're, like, really sassy. I go inside. <laughs> I, I go inside, and D says, where have you been? And I go, this girl just tried to hit me. And immediately, Tick goes, oh, hell no. Starts jamming through the crowd like she's in the biggest bout of her life. They go outside, I go to the bar, and I'm like, somebody needs to get out there because this girl is going to get her ass kicked in front of everybody. <laughs> By the time I walk out to the truck, the crowd has dissipated. Everybody's just doing their own thing. I look down at the side of my truck, and there I saw it. A pair of earrings, a purse, shoes, bracelet, Rihanna had completely taken everything off getting ready for this moment as she was watching it. <laughs> and at that point, I realized that not all superheroes need a cape or a phone booth or a mask or even a pair of roller skates. My superhero had her arm over my shoulder ready at any moment to protect me from whatever life threw at me even people having sex in the back of my truck. <laughs> Thank you.